Hi, it's Aurelius. In this video, you're going to learn how to build a digital product website in 2025 so that you can start selling things like ebooks, guides, online courses, your templates, worksheets, or what have you, whatever it may be, as long as it's in digital form. So I'll teach you how to do all this using AI so that you're not spending countless hours building a website from scratch. If you're looking for the best platform to start selling your digital products in 2025, then the best platform I would say is your very own website. As you know, with the banning of TikTok, and now it's been uh, extended to 90 days, so they will revise from there, which I think there will, you know, remain, TikTok that is. But in cases like that, you don't want to be in that position, right? Where all your eggs are in one basket. You put all your blood, sweat and tears into one platform. And by the time you know it, you know, if these regulations are in action, in place, you just don't know. Your business could be down. That's your livelihood right there. So instead of relying so much on a platform, putting your eggs in one basket and essentially renting other people's space, why not build your own platform, that is your website, which is why I wanted to make this video. It's crucial, especially if you're starting a new business or if you want to diversify or if you want to safeguard your business, a website is the way. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, the first essential thing you're going to need is web hosting. If you want to take your business seriously in 2025, then I highly recommend you get web hosting, one that's not free, one that has your own custom domain. So it could be yourname.com or whatever it may be. So the web host that I recommend is none other than Hostinger, who kindly sponsored this video too. Head to the link in the description box below. It'll take you right here where you can grab one of their web hosting plans at a ridiculously low price, as low as $2.49 per month. But I do recommend the business plan uh, coming to just $3.49 per month paid on a 48 months plan. Now, the reason why you can host up to 100 websites, you get 200 gigabytes of storage, more than enough for all your digital products, even online courses and your videos too. You get a free domain to begin with, and there's daily and on-demand backups, so you can have peace of mind knowing that all your files will be backed up on a daily basis. So go ahead, choose this plan, and then once you're on this checkout page, click on have a coupon code and then enter coupon code Aurelius and you can save further. You can see the discount that they've already applied with this current sale and then click on apply and you'll see the further discount take effect. Continue along with the checkout process. Once you've checked out and you're ready to build your website, it'll give you a couple of choices. You can build your website using AI or WordPress. I would highly recommend you use the AI website builder, especially if you're just getting started, you're a beginner, not tech savvy, and you don't want to code. WordPress, on the other hand, is a little more advanced, but if you're into that, why not go with that? But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use its AI website builder. First of all, enter a brand name and a description about your business. Be as specific as you can because the AI will pick up what you enter here, the prompt that is, and then build a website based on that as best as it can. In this demo, I'm going to be calling my business Social Media Guides, where I'll be selling guides, eBooks, and online courses to digital creators and entrepreneurs. I've written a small description right here on what it is and what we sell, who we serve, and once you're ready, you click on create a website. Let it do its job of building a website for you. You can see the process as you go along this progress. And in less than 30 seconds, your website has been built. This is the foundation. I would say start off with this as opposed to starting from scratch and coding uh, from scratch. So rather than doing that, use what it's produced and all we need to do is edit this website. You can see what it's created, the bare essentials, so that we can simply replace the text with our own text and images too. But if you wanna change the color palettes, you can do so in this mode. So let's say we like this color palette here and the changes have taken effect. You can see as I go through the different color palettes, it will take effect. But let's go with this. And at this point, what we can also do is change to mobile view or desktop view, but I would go ahead and start editing this website. So we'll click on continue. Now we're in the full web page editor where we can start editing away using drag and drop features. And that's one of the standouts of Hostinger's website builder. For instance, with my personal website here, I'm using Webflow 
and it's not as easy to edit your website. So you can see here, I'm in the editor. It's very technical. Everything's like requires coding. You can't do things like drag and drop. So let's say I want to put launch your business on the right side. You know, it messes everything up. Whereas with the hosting a website builder, I can drag it right here and that's all it takes. So what you see is what you get. If you start with the top bar right here, the header, you click once, you can do things like edit the header, changing the layout elements and the logo. So if you have your own custom uh, business logo, you can enter it and upload it here. Also, the navigation can be edited right here and you can add different pages, which I'll show you later on. But for now, what I would recommend you do is adding or deleting any sections you do not want or want. And you can do so by clicking on add section wherever you want to place it. Let's say we want to add a different section here. So click add section and they've got these pre-made sections that you can add by simply going through the sidebar, let's say we want an about section. So click about, I've got this about section that I like here. So we'll click once and with one click it's added. All we need to do now is just edit away. If I don't like a particular section, I'll just click once and then click on delete. There's always this menu bar as soon as you click on one of the sections. So that's a great thing, it's handy. We've got a contact form at the bottom. So these contact forms that you see that AI has placed can be edited by clicking once edit the form and then these will give you custom fields that you can add so right here fields so if you want to collect any other details you can add it in right here but if we go back to general we can see the email where you want these notifications to go to but easy peasy just like that and at the bottom we've got the footer which you can also modify you can edit the social icons with your own profiles so link it up all there contact details here your email updates as well any image placeholders that you see on the current template uh, the one that AI produced, you can click once and then edit image, replace it with an image that you want, or you can use AI by simply clicking on generate image and using its AI image generator by explaining what you want right here in the prompt. Looking on the left sidebar, we've got these options here. We've got add element. We can add particular elements to a certain section. So let's say we want to add a heading. We can go to add elements and then from the list we've got text we've got buttons add to bag buttons uh, video to in instagram feed we can add custom code as well for those of you who are more advanced but let's go ahead we can click on text and then i'm going to drag it right here and then we can add the text here all right so right there is the new text and we can edit away so let's say this section is called uh features right so we can drag that anywhere we want, replacing the existing, uh, just like that. And with this, we can style it. We can also uh, change the text alignment center of that box instead. But all those little elements you can add by clicking on add element and choosing your way. Right here is where you add all your pages and organize your navigation. So adding a page, let's say you wanna add an about page. So click on add page, we're gonna go to the about section there are other pages too if you'd like to add one of those so services projects uh, some legal pages too you can add your own blog section or online store which we'll show how to do as well since we are going through how to create a digital product uh, website so we'll go to about and we'll add this page right here so once that's added we can now edit this page in particular so right here is the about page. Go ahead, edit your about page if you'd like to do so. If you don't want to add an about page, that's fine. But I wanted to just demonstrate how to add a new page to your website. You can arrange your pages in this format as well. That'll affect the navigation as you can see. So if I put about there, it's now in the third placement. We've got website styles too. So if you go back to home, by the way, you can navigate through all your pages by clicking on any of the pages on your website like so, which makes it a ton easier. 
And then what we can do is change the website styles, like the accent colors, the font colors, the heading colors, all that can be customized here and different font combinations as well and buttons too. You also get access to all of the AI tools right here, such as the image generator, the AI writer. So we'll run through a couple of them uh, later on. Uh, there's heat mapping tool, page generator, so a complete AI page generator. So if you want to create like a services page based on a specific topic, then you can do so by using this and then describe what kind of page you want and create the page. The next step is an online store. We're going to add our digital products to our store so that we can actually start selling our digital products. So we'll go ahead, we'll go click on this little cart icon. We'll click on add store. With one click, the store has been added. As you can see, it's got this shopping bag too and some placeholder products. Now, the way to start editing these products is by clicking uh, to manage store and now we go to products. But before we do that, you might want to go and edit the settings so that you can integrate your payment processes such as PayPal, Stripe, create a store name. So I'll call it uh, guides or online courses. I'll click on save. And then from here, we click on payments and then I would go ahead and integrate Stripe or PayPal account. So make sure you have an account with PayPal and or Stripe so that you can accept payments. Go ahead and configure any other settings as you'd like from this section here. Next, we'll go back to products where we can see the existing placeholder products. What you can do is just take one of these placeholder products and then replace it with uh, your own products. But we're just going to create one from scratch going back I'll click on add product. From the list, we're going to select digital product. However, there are other options too in terms of product types. So you can sell things like appointments. So if you're a coach, you can sell your own coaching services or other services too, donations, gift cards, physical products too. But we'll click on digital product and they've got this AI option where you can upload images of your product and then it will generate the product details automatically for you. Let's go ahead and use this feature. So we'll click once. And at this point, you want to have your digital product ready, including any supporting images. In this case, I've got the cover of my guides. So in this case, let's choose Social Media Marketing 101. Uh, that's one of the products that I want to sell in this hypothetical uh, website. So I'll click on open. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, so it's written a title, a subtitle, and a description about the product for me and I didn't have to write a single word. Of course, at this point, I would go ahead and optimize the description, and if anything is inaccurate, then I would go ahead and fix it up. But this is what it's come up with, all right? And what uh, the title says is Social Media Marketing 101, which is correct anyway. You can add any further images by clicking on Add Media. For now, I'm gonna click on Save and then add my other products too. All right, so I've added my third product on the list, and what you can set right down the bottom is a pricing. So let's say this is uh, $10. You can add a discount price as well. And there are a few other sections and fields here if you'd like to add them. Now, down the bottom is an important part because if you're selling digital products, obviously you want to provide and supply the digital download. So what I will do is upload the file uh, that is the downloadable. From the list, I've got a PDF. So this one is for this one here. So I'll click on open. Now that it's uploaded, I'll click on save. I've got three products uploaded. What I'm going to do with the rest of the products is essentially just delete them since I don't need those. All right, so I'll go ahead, delete them. What I'm left with are my actual products, the products that I want to sell on my website. Once you're done adding your products, go back to the website builder. And now you see on my store, I've got three guides that I am ready to sell. If a website builder wants to learn more about a specific digital product right here, they can click on either of them and then they can read what it's all about. And once they're ready to purchase, they can click on add to bag, check out, you receive the funds and then Hostinger will automatically send the digital product to them. And by the way, if you haven't created your first digital product yet, I've got a couple of free resources down the bottom. So related to digital product creation. So check out those tutorials there. Otherwise, there's also my 
50 digital product ideas guide that you can grab, giving you 50 ideas in terms of what types of digital products you can create. Going back to our website build, I wanna go back to my landing page, that is the home page, and add a little store section so that whenever someone lands on my website, they'll see some of my products right off the bat rather than having to go to the store. So somewhere around here, I wanna add the store. I'll go to online store and then I can add a single product or I can add a list of products. In this case, I'll just add something uh, like this one here. And right here are a list of my products. If the appearance seems too wide, you can click on this stretch button and then it'll make it smaller so that it looks like this. You can customize this particular section by clicking on the section first of all, then clicking on edit section and changing the layout to be displayed in a certain format, like the product display style, the image ratio, whether you want it square, landscape or portrait. You can sort it, you can filter the products that you want so it only shows a particular category. All of those fine tuning settings can be done in this section settings. You can design your website in mobile by clicking on the mobile display, but it will by default uh, be as optimal as it can be for mobile devices, as you can see. But otherwise, if you wanna fix a couple of things, let's say this one here, we can just drag and dro drop where we want. Once you're in desktop view, it will look different. So this is the way it looks in desktop, which it won't affect on mobile uh, view right here. One of the common questions I get in terms of hosting as a website builder is, is it SEO friendly? That is search engine optimized. Well, you can make it search engine friendly by going to a specific page from the pages and navigation section, and then clicking on, let's say courses, we'll click on the little gear icon. Right here is SEO settings. So each individual page has its own SEO settings and you can change the meta data, such as the title and the actual meta description all under these sections. So if you're targeting a specific keyword, you can enter it all here, all here. And of course you want it on your page URL too. This way you get a better chance of your pages getting ranked on Google and other search engines for those particular keywords. Once you're done customizing your website, don't forget to connect a domain name. You can choose a custom domain by going to get domain. You do get one free domain and when you register, otherwise if you are going to transfer from a different uh, domain registrar, you can transfer it that way too. But otherwise click on get domain, choose an available domain name and then away you go. Once you're ready, click on go live and then it'll tell you that your website is live. This is my temporary URL just for demonstration purposes. But if I click on view site, this is the current state of my website. You can see that I've added the product section here. And if I go to any of the products, let's say building your personal brand, it'll go to that page where then I can add to bag and then check out and get access to that specific digital product. And there you have it. That's my recommendation in terms of the best platform to start selling your digital products in 2025. It's none other than having your own website as opposed to relying on third parties and other platforms where you don't have control over. So go ahead, if you're looking to start selling digital products in 2025, start it with hosting a link to it will be in the description box below. There's a current sale going on, so feel free to take advantage of that while it lasts. Remember, there's no code required, no technical skills required to build a professional looking website so that you can start selling your digital products. Get started today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.